Greetings, my lovelies, and welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today I'll be eating Scotland. This will be my first taste of Scotland, and I'm super excited to taste it. And this little package arrives via Christian. Thank you so much, Christian, sending me this beautiful little package of treats, and thanks so much for being patient for your video. I know you've waited a long time, and she sent me wonderful little things that all are representative of Scotland. So, let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with this, because when I think of Scotland, I think of haggis. If you don't know what haggis is, it's a lovely thing, which I hope to try one day, but it uses the stomach of a cow, and it's filled with kinds of grains and all kinds of other good fixings, and it's used kind of like a bag, and it's cooked inside, and then it's kind of sliced up. It sounds great, I want to try it someday, and I just will have to go to Scotland and try it myself. But until then, I'm going to try these, and these are haggis chips. They're made by Mackey's of Scotland. All right, let's, so let's give it a taste. So right, let's see how, oh, they got a little bit crushed, but I think they'll still taste good. Lots of black pepper in there. It did off smells. Mmm! And I think a little bit of air got in there because they're not as crisp as they could be. But the flavor is quite good. It's actually quite smoky and meaty. Mmm, and yeah, kind of almost lamby and salty, of course, because they're crisp. Nice potato flavor and lots of cracked pepper. It's great. It's too bad that air got in there because I'm sure they're even better when they're, you know, nice and crispy. Mm. So let's try this. This is Stoats. This is classic Scottish porridge and it looks like it's an oatmeal and it's instant, but Christian said it's almost as good as the real thing. So let's give it a go. So first we got to shake it and then we'll remove the film. That's instructed. Where's the fill line? I don't see a fill line. Do you? Where's the fill line? Hello? Oh, fill line here. Got it. Fill line. Ha ha. Do, do, do. Put a lid on it and let it cook for four or five minutes. These, Christian tell me, are called tatties or tatties. And they're like little potatoes. I guess it's a nickname for potatoes, like taters. Or... So these are called Lucky Tatties, and these are some of the oldest Scottish confectionery. And she says that these are the mini ones. They smell really cinnamony. All right, let's give them a taste. Mmm. Ah. Mm-hmm. And they are very cinnamony. A little bit dry and powdery on the outside. Cinnamony and almost peppery, but they're great. Mm. In the middle, it's like a tablet, and when you bite into it, it kind of crumbles. Very strong candy, though. And they're great. They don't taste anything like potatoes. <laughs> this is called Lee's Milk Chocolate, and it looks like a chocolate fondant bar, similar to maybe a York peppermint patty or something. Here it is on the inside. That looks beautiful. And there it is. White filling. Mmm, mmm. Very, very sweet. The texture is a little bit different than a York peppermint patty, but very, very similar kind of family. The texture is a little bit more crumbly and has more of a melt in your mouth kind of sensation. And the thinner layer of dark chocolate, although the dark chocolate is there, full of pepperminty flavor. Great. Look at these charming candies. These two candies I figured out by process of elimination are called rock. Here in the US, we probably just call these old fashioned candies, but aren't they beautiful? They're wrapped in cellophane, and they're two different flavors. This one is the flavored Iron Brew, which if you haven't seen that before, it's a beverage that's popular in Scotland. And I'll put the link down below if you miss me tasting that. And this is Edinburgh Rock. So let's try the Iron Brew first. Look, there's a filling inside, a white filling. Let's give it a taste. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. And that's great. It's a little bit like a hard candy on the outside, and inside is crumbly and slightly chewy. It's got a nice little bit of kind of acidity to it. A little bit citrus, kind of like lemon lime, and a little bit kind of slightly bumblegummy. That is terrific. It's crumbly in the middle, and then as you chew it, it's both crumbly and chewy at the same time. And as you bite it, it kind of just gives and melts and chews away. It's great, I love that. All right, let's try the next one. Let's try the Edinburgh edition. And this one is slightly pink in color. And it's pink in the middle as well. It smells a little bit floral and fruity. All right, let's give it a taste. Oh, wow. Wow, that's really good too. And that's got a completely different texture. It's not chewy. It's just crumbly. And as you can hear, it's a really hard kind of crunch. More like a tablet texture. And a great flavor. 
Mmm, it's got like a fruit punchy flavor to it. Um, it's not overly sweet and nice and airy and delicious. All right, so let's go back to our classic porridge here and let's give that a taste. I don't know if this has any milk in it, but maybe that's just the oats, the ground oats. It has this really great kind of milky color to it. Mmm, that's nice. It tastes nice and rich and oaty. It's not sweetened at all, but it's great, really hearty. And the best part of that is its texture. It's really smooth and creamy. The oatmeal that we have here in the States, like old fashioned oats, tends to be the whole oat and it's flattened a little bit. So as you cook it, it's pretty hearty and rich and thick, but it's not creamy like this. It doesn't have this beautiful creamy texture. And I think that has to do with how this is processed. I think this is more like steel cut oats, which we have here in the States, but it's not very common. And it's a process in which they cut the oats so they're smaller and then it creates this kind of like oat flour, which thickens it. It's just lovely. I think with a little drizzle of honey or maple syrup and some fresh fruit, that would be just divine. And this, I guess, is often served with cheese. I love the shape of this. So let's give that a taste. I don't have any cheese with me, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love this quarter circle. Mmm. It's got a really great texture. It's simultaneously crumbly and slightly crisp. It's not sweet. So I'd say more of a savory realm. And then it's got a little bit of tooth to it, like a little bit of kind of oaty granular texture to it. But great, I think as Christian suggested, it would go wonderfully with cheese. Mm. And this is a strawberry and cream flavored macaroon. This is a very different looking macaroon than I've ever seen before. I have had this stored in my freezer as I was instructed, but I think it's gonna be more like the Irish macaroon that I had in my Emmy Eats Ireland video, part two, I believe, with Donald. So I'll put the link down below if you missed that and not like a cookie and not like a macaron. So yeah, let's give this a taste. And Christian said her, this is her father's favorite. Let's give it a little cut here. Oh my gosh, it looks so sweet. Coated with chocolate, it has some pink and some white fondant filling, it looks like. Wow. So this cream filling in the middle is quite similar to the mint chocolate that I had full of powdered sugar, very, very sweet, dense, not as kind of melty as the other one, more like a, yeah, like a York peppermint patty. And there's a nice strawberry flavor to it, similar to a Nestle Quick strawberry flavor, kind of artificial, but great. And then the outside is just a light coating of chocolate, which you barely taste. And mostly what you taste is this toasted coconut flavor. And you've got this little chew of the desiccated coconut as well. Let's try these next. These are called Abernethy and they're made by Simmers. Open this up here. Oh my gosh, they look, oh, let's see if I can get a whole one. Oh gosh, they're so crumbly. Ah, they're so delicate. Okay, let's just get a piece. <laughs> oh, they smell great and buttery. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm, that's great. And it's a biscuit, meaning cookie. It's just lightly sweetened, full of buttery, yummy goodness, and just beautiful texture, crumbly, very much like a shortbread. It's like a cross between a shortbread and a kind of loom biscuit. Mm, so good. And this is a small little black bun. It's called Black Bun Small, and it's made by Stewart's. So let's give that a taste. So this too, wow, look at this beautiful thing. This too I had stored in the freezer. It has a little bit of a crust on the outside. And look at the middle of that, it looks so dense. All right, let's give that a cut. Oh my goodness, it's super sticky and dense. And I can smell a lot of molasses and I can see some raisins in there. Mmm, mmm. That's a very dense kind of cake. It's more like a fruit cake, actually. There's a little bit of spice. It tastes a little bit gingery, maybe nutmeggy, cinnamony, clovey, just a little bit. But it's full of fruit. Basically, it's a fruit cake. Lots of raisins, and I think sultanas, which are like big raisins. Mmm, it's really good. It tastes a little bit of booze, I think. It's great. Definitely reminds me of winter. Next, we have this, and this is made by Tunnocks, 
and these are little caramel wafer biscuits. Look at that packaging. Isn't that charming? I love it. Oh, this is a four pack. My goodness. All right. So here looks like it's going to be a wafer bar. Terrific. It smells great. It smells nice and chocolatey. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. 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 It's a super sweet wafer bar. So the outside is coated with just a thin coating of chocolate, milk chocolate, and inside are several layers of wafer. But sandwiched in between those layers of wafer is a little bit of caramel. And so while I've tasted a lot of wafer bars, this one is unique in the sense that it's a little bit chewy because of all that caramel. I think the caramel kind of combines with the wafer and gives it a little bit of soft pliability. So it's both soft and crispy. It's great. I love it. And these are called Buchanan's, the original treacle toffees. So treacle isn't commonly consumed here in the States. You can find it, but I don't think I've actually had it. It comes in a little tin and it's like a syrup, isn't it? Scottish and UK friends, do let me know in the comments below what the applications of treacle are because I really don't know. It's oh, these are so cute too. Look at this packaging in this beautiful purple foil. Let's see what one of these looks like. Oh, they actually look like chocolates. All right, let's give that a taste. Here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. Those are lovely. I was expecting something more like a Werther's or what I considered more like an English toffee, which is more brittle and buttery and caramelly. But this is more like a caramel, but the flavor is phenomenal. Rich and buttery, creamy and sweet, full of nice caramel flavors, and it's got a really great chew without being overly sticky. So it's sticky, but it doesn't just gum onto all of your teeth. It's great. It's not just sweet and buttery as well. There's really nice caramelized flavors in there well, as well. Delicious. All right, so that sadly wraps up my little tasting of Scottish treats. Christian, thanks again so much for sending me this package. Thanks for your time and your efforts and all your careful consideration of all these things that you put in there to represent your country. Thanks so much. And thank you guys so much for watching. I wouldn't be here without you. I had a cup of porridge today, so let me know in the comments below what you like to have for breakfast. Do you like to have porridge, oatmeal, toast, cereal? What is it? And if you like to have porridge or oatmeal, what do you like to have with it? Fresh fruit? What, what, what? I want to know. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care. Bye. And this is made by Kids Mania, and it comes with, I think these are supposed to be plungers. I've had a version, I feel like all of the world has their version of like a corn cheese puff snack. <laughs>